Well, if you're just joining us this morning, we're following some breaking news out of Missoula. The Montana Highway Patrol just reported one suspect is in custody after a trooper was shot and injured Thursday night. It was one of several incidents that occurred near Evero. MTN's Dennis Bragg filed this report earlier this morning while investigators were still gathering evidence, searching for a suspect and processing the crime scenes. Missoula police received the initial call shortly before 11 p.m. Thursday night with reports of gunfire and that multiple people had been shot near the Stone Creek Lodge at Expressway and Tanager Way. Sergeant Travis Wells says when the first officers rolled up, they confirmed two people had been shot and a third uninjured person had made the 911 call. From the very beginning, Missoula units were looking for a Cadillac SUV with patrol cars fanning out and looking throughout the surrounding residential area and starting to block off traffic to preserve the crime scene and evidence on Expressway. But after the initial police response here at Expressway, the scene quickly changed with officers going as far north as Evero and as far south as Lolo in attempts to locate the suspect. And that's when other agencies began to jump into the case. The jurisdiction changed in January, so that used to be county property. Now it's, it's actually city property. Um, but we have MHP, obviously the Missoula County Sheriff's Office, uh, Missoula Police Department, Airport Police, and then we have uh, multiple agencies in neighboring counties. And that response ramped up quickly after the report of the second officer involved shooting on Evero Hill less than an hour later, forcing investigators to not only look for the shooter, but cope with the additional stress. There's two active investigations that are very fresh. There's so many different moving parts. And um, so, yeah, I think that with the different jurisdictions, they're still working on a lot of those details. For a time after the shooting, Providence St. Patrick Hospital, where the first victims were taken, was on a security lockdown as a precaution. It's moving very fast, so we're just um, really trying to take care of that number one priority of keeping the public safe. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.